Hello everyone, this is Super Runny8, and welcome to my very first video game playthrough. No, Mario Kart 8 does not count. My very first video game playthrough is going to be of, well, you probably already see it, Minecraft, Minecraft specifically me taking down the Ender Dragon. At least that's my goal for uh, the specific playthrough. I see a lot of people do this before with very, very different objectives, but for me... It's basically, well, t technically being the game by trying to take down the Ender Dragon. <laughs> so th this, there's going to be a lot of stuff uh, from, that I'm going to have to do, of course. Like, you know, I I've already pre generated this, by the way, because I don't want to, you know, take, take too long to a world until I get, you know, the one I want for this recording. So I'm just going to load this up here. But yeah, my goal is taking down the my goal here is taking down the Ender Dragon. I want I w I originally wanted to do this as a co-op thing, but I I didn't want to take too too long trying to find someone to do this with me. It's <clears throat> been a few days of me putting this off already, and I did a practice recording of me fighting the Ender Dragon once. In case you uh, didn't didn't see that, which uh, you should probably check out. Check out if you really haven't yet. But yeah, I spawned in this uh, forest area on top of this tree, in case you haven't noticed, which I'm going to take down now. Uh, yeah, I don't. I really don't know why I should be saved for uh, this part. This is like how all, all Minecraft playthroughs start off, isn't it? <laughs> but, uh... Really, the thing is, I really don't know how long this project is gonna last. I'm thinking like around 15 videos or something. I don't know. We'll we'll see how fast I can do this. But uh, if you <clears throat> if you really dedicate yourself for going to the end for going for the Ender Dragon, it might not take that long as far as my previous experience goes. I haven't done this in a while though, so we'll we'll see. I know Amphenum has uh, a, uh, in my opinion, a good, good uh, LP of this Hunt for the Ender Dragon thing, but that was back in Minecraft's initial release, 1.0.0, and uh, what right now we're in uh, 1.19, so and that's. That's after 1.9, so, ooh, I'm getting a bit of a lag spike right here. I kind of want to see how this would go with the, uh, new features, especially with the, uh, revamped Ender Dragon, uh, fight. With the, uh, equipment that I might, uh, have. Which, if you've seen my practice video, you probably already know how, that, how uh, that can go. I don't. Th I still don't think it's that hard. But uh, getting there might be uh, could possibly be a different story because of the revamped, revamped nader in one point sixteen. And uh, <clears throat> I really haven't done done that done done that in vanilla Minecraft before, so this is gonna be a first for me. Yes, vanilla. I've done it with mods before, and that can be harder, depending on what mods you use. Because there's some ridiculous mobs in there. And why am I getting more wood? I don't need that much more wood. Okay, let me just hold on to a plank. Let's get a crafting table, some sticks. And yeah, I have, I have, I have just enough items. I'm not gonna be using them for this. I just have to install, you know, for the future. But I'm not really going to be uh, using it. Other than recipes, maybe, if I do some of forget some of them. I don't, I am not resorting to the wiki, I'm sorry. And plus it's going to be faster this way. Oh, I... I spawned right next to an ocean, okay. I want to see how that... I want to see how that would turn out at some point because this is past 1.13. That's when the uh, ocean's got an upgrade. 
See, I don't want to be taking too long. It's almost noon. And uh, I want to get a uh, house going at some point. I'm thinking about making this area, my, uh, building my house in this area. This is like right next to the spawn. I don't get rid of some stupid leaves. Alright, so. I'm probably not gonna. Be able to have much room in there though. As far as I, as far as my skills go, I might be able to survive a night out, but I really do not want to take my chances. Actually, like the I want. I'm probably, I'm probably not gonna reside in this for too long, considering. Well, you you know what I'm gonna do. This is hunt for the Ender Dragon. Of course, I'm gonna be uh, traveling around the world looking for a uh, stronghold at some point. But my experience goes, they like to spawn like within the first like thousand blocks or so from spawn. Of course, I don't have enough wood. Alright, looks like I do it looks like I did need more. Where's that tree I there it is. I know I could make this house smaller, but right. got gotta hurry because I need to get my uh That's one point, it's a pickaxe. And I'm not gonna bother with a shovel. Mm, sounds gonna be a setting of like, I don't know. Probably wait until I get some stone so I could, like, you know. Uh, what's. Uh, I'll, I'll just go this way for the cave. Stairs thing. That's what I like doing, because I'm gonna find stone, like, you know, just a couple blocks beneath the initial surface. Excuse me. I'm trying to go as fast as I can here for, you know, doing this in a uh, good amount of time. I'm not do being like one of those people that's like, you know, uh, when they go to part 30 or something, they're still on stone tools. That's not where I'm going to go, buddy. Alright. Stone pickaxe. See, I'm already getting my first stone tools. And, uh, I'll just get an axe. I don't have coal. Let me uh, get myself a sword, just in case. This will go much quicker. Alright, so I'm As far as I know, getting to the nether isn't really going to be uh, uh, that bad. I mean, uh, you know how easy you know how easy it is for to find diamonds nowadays. But you know, I could also use that uh, uh, you know uh, bucket trick, bucket of buckets of water and lava, and like make the nether portal like I guess a 
kind of a weird way. But uh, I'm not going to be uh, taking that approach. At least I'm going to try not to. I'm going to take down this uh, birch tree for the initial charcoal fuel. Uh, because the sun's going to come be going down in a few few moments. Alright, let's get this going. I'll get the rest of this for... Get the uh, door. Oh, I forgot you get multiple doors now for crafting them. Alright, charcoal, thank you. My first... My first torches so I could actually... Some monsters will spawn in this house. Hi, right, I'm I'm safe. Pretty much. Let me uh take that a few. Oh, apples, nice. Thank you. Still got a few, still got a, like a minute or two here. I wish I I wish I found some sheep though. I know I I know I haven't been traversing that much. But I'd like to find a couple sheep so I can, I can make a bed or something. Yeah, maybe uh, don't want monster spot a glare. I really don't know if that was possible, but all right, chest. Put some of this junk away. Maybe use this wood pickaxe to get one more piece of charcoal. I'm not wasting uh, that. Just leave me alone. But yeah, if you didn't, yeah, if you didn't know, you can use wood tools as fuel. It's not one item that way. Just make the torches correctly, man. Now, I do not want to cut out. Oh, wait, hold on. Am I playing on no normal? Okay. <laughs> I was just I was just wondering if I was playing on peaceful I probably would have been indebted to uh, start this whole thing over already and since I'm recording for like 12 minutes now uh, that probably would have been a pain in the butt for me okay so I don't know what I should be doing considering I do not want to uh, cut this stuff out and don't, don't throw my sword. Yeah. I hear you, zombie. Okay, let me switch those. I'm just gonna be covering this up, just in case. Or is that in a... Is that below me or something? You never really know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, as we go down, there, there's some uh, copper, but I don't think I can make that into armor. Can I? I really don't know. Yes, copper. We The uh, thing we see in a few Minecraft mods, now it's in vanilla. Uh, when does the first coal vein get up here? When you when you're trying to when you're going on the ground this way, it could take a little bit. This is why I smelted some of that wood for charcoal. And I'm sorry, if, sorry if you can hear my fan in the background. By the way, it's been so hot this spring. And going into the summer, I feel like it's going to get a lot worse. What the hell? What the heck is that? Is that cool? Okay, yeah. I, I'm not I'm not used to the new textures. I'm sorry. Hmm. I guess they must have uh, redid some of the textures again for this, uh, for this new version. I don't remember coal or looking like this.
I'm, I'm so used to doing mods on, like, older versions. Not, like, vanilla... Well, close to vanilla on this thing, but I don't really have any... that much gameplay altering mods. I'm just doing, uh, vanilla sake for this playthrough. <clears throat> but, yeah, this, but, but yeah, when I find a stronghold, I do not want to lose that stronghold, because, you know... Uh, I think 90% of strongholds, from my experience, would have an end portal. If I, and, uh, you know, if I die at the uh, end dragon fight, I do not want to have to travel all the way back. Because that would be oh so annoying. It'd probably, uh, uh, annoy you, you guys too if I didn't cut, cut that stuff out, so. Uh, yeah, if... If I ever get, to, if I uh, ever get a bed, yeah, I better make use of that and uh, make a make a shelter near the uh, near the stronghold, not in the stronghold, because uh, we all know how uh, how much mobs like to spawn in there. This pickaxe is pretty much broken to me. How deep am I? Okay, my I'm almost at. I was going into the deep slate area, and I, and I haven't found no iron. I think I think usually at this point you're supposed to find a find a cave. And yeah, I haven't found one yet. When I go up below the deep slate level, what's I don't know if I need at least an iron pickaxe in order to uh, break through that effectively, but. I know there's going to be wide open caves down there. And I imagine this is going to be my best bet for fighting diamonds. Even though I haven't done this uh, all new uh, you know, caves and cliffs thing myself before. So it's going to be a first time for me. That's probably what's going to make this interesting. This is part blind. Oh, okay. Iron. Thank you. See, I recognize that as iron, at least. And the fact that it doesn't drop as an ore anymore, instead of, you know, it's a raw, it's a raw, raw iron item. I wonder if I can use fortune on that to get more iron, and I hear a skeleton. And a zombie. So I must be near a cave right now. That or a dungeon. And, uh, if it's a dungeon, then, uh, uh that could that could be uh, bad for me right now, because I have no armor. By the way, Wiggler skin, by the way. Save the Wiggler fandom. Pretty sure you guys like that. Yeah, um... Oh. Oh, there's a cave. The, uh... uh, yep. You're my first victims. You can't even get me in this through the small. Okay, maybe the baby zombie can. That was definitely a scare. Okay. I'm gonna be going now after that. Especially since I need to eat because I got hurt. <sighs> Ooh, scary noise. Now I might as well get this. I'm not sure how useful it's gonna be. And, because you know. I, I think I got the uh, copper there. Wait, did I mined up two blocks? I think I got three raw copper. There's no fortune on this pickaxe. Whatever. This. 
Yeah, I just got, I mined up one block, I got two Brock Hopper. And there, too. Okay, there's a, there's quite a bit of copper here. I'm used to, I'm used to, like, big, big veins being only for, like, coal. I don't know what that means, but I got a shit ton of copper. Because apparently a lot of times one copper ore equals two blah. Oh, okay. Thank goodness it's morning. Then a creeper probably comes out my face and blows me up. <laughs> Would that be my luck? Alright, so let's smelt this.